work or emotional problems. I do not have emotional problems. Most people don't know what they have. However, I will keep you here till tomorrow.
nothing will happen to me. I'm fine. And baby is fine too. You are very soon to get out. So you have nothing to worry about. I thought I would never have good life. Mysteries of the evil that has come to live like men among men. Topless. It has begun. Again.
just his wife like a child. Amanze. Amanze, what have I told? Second time you have taken my pregnant wife and my unborn child away. What have I done to you? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? What have I done? Amanze! What have I done? What did I do? What are you doing here? Eh? Sweetie, what are you doing here? Uh, I woke up and you were not there. I'm surprised seeing you. What are you doing here? Come back to bed, okay? Let's. Worried about what? That is the problem. I, I can't place a finger on what it is exactly. <laughs> if it's about me and the baby, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. You remember the man we saw at the hospital? What man? The one who lost his wife and child. Okay, what about him? I... I overheard them saying it has happened to him before. That that was the second time he's losing a wife and child. But it has nothing to do with us. Sweetie. Nothing is going to happen to me. Nothing. I wish I could believe that. Oh, please, 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 don't go there. Don't start Baby, again. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? It's, look, it, it's just that I, I heard him mention something. What did he mention? I'm answering. He said the evil of Amanze. So? He doesn't mean anything. Maybe he's from there. Who knows? You see, so, I am from Amanze as well. Remember? I remember. And I also remember that your father warned us never to go to that village. Or to have anything to do with anybody from there. So, just get the thought of this man out of your head because he has nothing to do with us. The 
kingdom of evil. <sighs> Amanze. The kingdom of evil. I, I wonder why they call it the kingdom of evil. Ask your father. He should know. He told me that the village is filled up with wizards and demons. They are responsible for the death of my ex-wife. I've never been there since I knew how to pronounce my name. Sweetie, you worry too much. Okay, let's come back to bed. You have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. I need all the rest you can get. I'll be fine. You know a lot of people will be here today to sympathize with you. So you have to be strong. I called your father like you said I should. And he will be here as soon as possible. You know your people will be coming here today. And it won't be nice for them to come and see you like this. Huh? sorry about it. I'm so sorry. It's a pity that all these things are happening to you. All of us in the office wish there is something we can do to ease your pain. Yeah, that's the problem. My situation is hopeless. For the second time, I watch my son and my wife Die why I have no single idea of what to do to save their lives. What a pity. God understands. He holds all the answers. Yes, that's the reason I should commit suicide so that I can go and ask God why he had to take away my happiness. God forbid. God forbid. Don't think that way at all. Take that off your mind, Oga. Miriam, my beloved. For a moment, she was full of joy and full of life. For the next moment, she just succumbed to the cold hands of death. What is it that I'm hearing? Eh? What has happened to my daughter-in-law and the child? Eh? Hey! Hey! Papa. Papa. Eh? They are all gone. Eh? They are all gone. Hey, so what you sent me is true. What is the meaning of all this? What? What is this? Eh? What is this? Eh? Oh, what is this? Eh? Hey! 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 Hey!
My son, don't talk like that. You know, there's nothing I cannot do for you. Eh? Your grief and sorrow are also mine. Eh? So don't, uh, uh, don't talk like that at all, please. Hey, honestly, if I had my way, eh? I will exchange my life with that of your wife and your unborn baby. Honestly, huh? Oh, what a Evil begets evil. Yourself. Huh? Mm. Dad, what do I do? What do I tell her family? Dad, <sighs> how do I say it to them? That is why I am here. I will always be by your side. Let me tell you, it hurts me more than it even hurts you. Dad, who is after me? Who is after my life? What curse is upon me that is preventing me from going to the village? That why are you not telling me the people after my life? about the village it will do you no good dad you told me that I shouldn't have anything to do with anybody from Amazon I shouldn't even step my foot there that the Amazon people want me dead the reason I don't know you have always told me this since I was a child. And what you have refused to say is to tell me why they want me dead. Dad, is there anything that I need to know that you're not telling me? You see, David, you are my only child. The rest died at birth. That is why I will do everything that is humanly possible to make sure that you are happy. I don't want you to come to that village. As for the people doing this, don't even bother yourself. I will handle them. I will make sure that no harm comes to you. Refuse to tell me what makes my going to the village a taboo. I don't want to know. You can go. That village is an evil village. The village you come from is known as the kingdom of evil. Notorious for killing her youths, children, and even women. I want you to remain in the city where you run away from them. I don't want them to take away the only joy that I have. No. You will stay in the city, bury your wife, or in the alternative, you take her to her village and bury her there. I don't want you to come. I will make sure 
not. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and this is... <laughs> Dad. What is this? This is five million naira. I want you to use it and bury your dead wife and also marry a new one. Dad, when my first wife Sandra died, you did the same thing. And now you are giving me another five million naira. What's going on? Well, you know, you are my only son who is in grief. And there is nothing I cannot do to make sure that you are happy. Even if it means spending my last kobo. I will do it. As long as you are happy. Dad. Money cannot bring happiness to me. You don't know how much I love Miriam. She was my life. She was everything to me. I want you to shame the devil. Shame our enemies. Marry another beautiful wife. Whatever they have taken away from you, I will make sure I return it. Marry a wife that will give me grandchildren and make me live longer. converts like someone died. Get back to work at once. <sighs> yes, like I told you. Already here, yeah, go through this. Line up for the ring. Okay? Strange. What? What is all this? What's the problem? Speak, Mr. Kerr. Yes. I thought they've contacted your phone. Who contacted me? The hospital, sir. What hospital? A nurse from Allied Medical Center came here this morning while you were away, sir. As regards to your wife, my wife. What about my wife? She said your wife. And was washed to them. So they came to the office to alert you, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Is she okay? 
My wife slumped? Huh? Which, where, what hospital? Allied Medical Center, right? Huh? What is he going to the hospital to find out, Michael? His wife is dead. Oh my God. His wife? Again? to inform me. Dr. Emeka! Mr. Agumba, I'm sorry. Your wife gave up 30 minutes after she was born. <laughs> my, my, my wife gave, gave up what? Huh? Your wife. The, what are you talking about? My wife gave up what? Your wife is dead. Please accept my sympathy. You're mad. You are insane. No, you accept my sympathy because you don't know what you're talking about. My wife is dead. No, no, no. You killed my wife. You people killed my wife. That's why you didn't call me. That's why you did not inform me. What are you talking about? Calm down. Calm down. My wife is dead. It's okay. It's okay. My wife is dead. Did you say that? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Alarm! 
you sent my son into this terrible misery? I know you are here. I can feel you. I can smell you. I can see your shadow. No need to hide. Come out. I know you are here. No need to hide. Come out. I know you are here. You. You. Leave my son alone. Soon it will all be over. Very soon, it will be over for you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm protected. No protection will ever save you if you come anywhere near my, my son again. You should have stayed unnoticed. But like a fool, you have to show yourself. child alone I have a mission to complete my life will not be over until I complete the mission and you and your offspring destroyed you are a dead man already and tonight you will die for the last time not yet it's not yet my time
Um, it, 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 I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing. Get back inside. I heard voices. I, I, I heard you speaking to someone. Uh, I, I, I was blaming the gods and the evil of Amanze who took away your wife and unborn child. so that the grief can reduce. Hmm? Hmm? I would have preferred not to bury my late wife yet until I have gone to the village to tell them what has been happening to me. What good would that serve? So, Someone out there is responsible. I want him to look me in the eyes and feel my grief. Look. They killed your brother. They killed your sister. They killed your mother just immediately after she, she gave birth to you. They wanted to kill you, but I sneaked you out into the city to hide you. Now you want to walk back into the lion's den by going back to the village? I don't understand, Papa. What did I do? What did I do to deserve such enmity from my people? <laughs> my own people! Now, see, look. You are supposed to be the next king. What? Oh, yes. We have royal blood. They took it away from us. And to make sure that we do not smell that throne, they want to wipe out our entire bloodline. I told you that before. Papa, I, I don't want or, or wish to be the king of that jungle called Amanze. I don't want it. I'm fine, Papa. I'm all right the way I am. They don't know that. They don't want to know. They will never rest until you are dead. But let me assure you, my son, I promise you, as long as I live, 
I will not let anyone, and I repeat, anyone harm even a strand of hair on your head. So help me. transferred to us, making us live longer. They are our living sacrifice, and so shall it be till the end of time. Ibuwe!
it. Yes. What can I do for you? We met at the hospital. The day you lost your wife. Yes, I met a number of people that day. We spoke. Dr. Emeka was there. And you told me about your misfortune. Oh, that. Yes. Well, um, I thank you for coming around to express your condolence. But as you can see, I am not in the mood to receive or attend to visitors now. I'm sorry, we might see another time. No, 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 wait. That's not why I'm here. I didn't come for that. So why are you? My wife is dead and gone. That's exactly why I'm here. I'm here concerning the mysterious death of your wife and unborn child. What are you talking about? Who are you? You lost your first wife while she was pregnant. Right? Yes, sir. How did you know that? Dr. Mecca told me. And you just lost your second wife, mysteriously, while pregnant. No illness, no accident. Yes. Yes, I did. You're from Amanda. Right? It's the kingdom of evil. Yes, what are you saying? I'm from Amanza too. I lost my first and second wife mysteriously while pregnant. Does it strike you that both of us seem to be passing through the same thing? Almost at the same time. your father now? He left for the village a couple of days ago. He, he doesn't care how I feel. All he knows is to give me money to get another wife. What? Twice. I lost my wives. Twice. My father gave me money to replace them. The money your father gave you, can I see it? Please, let me just take a glance. I know why I'm asking, please. Yeah, here we are. That's it. That's the money. an exact replica of the case my father gave me. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Jesus Christ. Have you been to Amazon before? No, no, I've, I've not. My father warned me never to. And my father also warned me not. Hey, 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 hey. Are you saying my father is your father? No, 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 no but I don't understand. How? So how come? The same thing my father told me was the same thing your father also told me. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, 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 don't play pranks with me. Oh my God. It was, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing in my room? Oh, don't get out. This get out. out. No, don't get me wrong. This is the exact case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, no, no. Why don't you just follow me to my house and you will see the same keys in my room? Hey, I've had enough trouble hey, already. Don't okay. believe me. Calm down, calm down. Think about what I told you outside. Think about the coincidence! This is not funny, it's, I, 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 I'm confused, I'm, I'm going mad! I, I don't understand, but I, I just want us to go. Let's go to your house. Let's go and sit. Let's go to your house. Please, go. follow me. Let's see. 
Zim! Move! The devil himself! Toss him! Son, is, do you two know who you are? Yes! We know who we are. We are the man whose wives and unborn children you murdered! Yes! I am not responsible for the death of your wives and unborn children. Then who is? Both of you are. What are you talking about? Both of you are from the village of Farmanse. A village known as Kingdom of Evil. All right. I, look, I'm not cut out for the lectures. I want answers. Why? Why our wives? Huh? What did we do to you? I don't even know you. What, what is all this? Each time your wives and unborn children die, the father visits. He gives you money to bury your dead and bury a new one. How did you know this? What are you driving at? There exists a small group, an evil court group. Their desire is to live forever and have powers beyond men. Seven virgins were buried alive to build their shrine. And each season, when the sun shuts its eyes in sleep by day, another seven is sacrificed. Why should I believe you? I was once part of them. Twice you have hit me with your car, but you could not find my body. Know why? Because no human being can kill me, as well as your father. People from far and near who want such powers to protect them against their fellow human beings do come to your fathers. They pay them billions. It's from there they send you money to bury your dead and marry a new wife for the next sacrifice. To replenish this power, each member needs to keep sacrificing his unborn grandchild. The unborn child must be taken alive from the womb of the wife of the son. In the process, the woman leads to death. This is done spiritually. To keep a steady supply of the unborn children, you must always get married to a new wife. That is why your father gives you money to bury your dead and marry new wives for the new sacrifice. No, 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 I, I do not believe you. You are lying. This all lies. You, you, you are making this up to stand us against our fathers. It's enough, okay? I have to hear my father's side of the story.
sons of the earth. Welcome. And mom, we seem a bit lost and we thought of asking you for direction. I don't know if you know... Amanze is three miles away from here. Stay on the road after the bridge over Njoku Street. Um, Mama, how did you know we were going to Amanze? Even the brave stumble on the mention of Amanze. And you're not afraid to tell us? What you don't see can't spread fear into your heart. I lost my sight as a child, but I can hear and smell them each time they converge. Them? Mama, who are these people you speak of? Amanze is three miles away from here. Stay on the road after the bridge over in Jocko Street. So you don't become one with what you seek. Tread with caution. So what you despise does not destroy you. Again. I saw them. They are here. What are you talking about? Who is here? The children of the evil eyes of Amanze. Where? I saw two of them asking for direction to their father's compound. Sons of evil spewed forth from the depths of hell. So they have come. For it to start again, the tragedy they brought on us is still soaring to the clouds. There have been multiple deaths, and daylight madness is on every household of the land. Their fathers overpowered us because they were with Odum the chief priest. But their sons cannot survive or escape us. Go! Go and get everybody you can find. Go! I have other preparations to make. Go! Right away, now. away from us as if we are ghosts. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe they are they are afraid of strangers. You think so? I, I don't think so. I mean, look at how the whole place is deserted. Where are the people? Perhaps we have strayed off the village. You know what? I suggest we turn back and let's go this way. Right? You think so? Do you know that all the people that ran from us ran through this direction? We don't go, we just go. We talk to them quietly and they tell them that we are not strangers. 
Okay? Are you sure they will listen? Look, look at how they will know our fathers. Just calm down, calm down. Calm down, just relax. Uh, we come in peace. We come in peace. There is no peace. I'm David, the son of Uduma of Amaze village. We know who you are. Children of abomination. Your fathers brought disaster and havoc upon this land. Wow. Yes. 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 Children died. Yes. Many women also died. The evil your fathers committed made the girls to curse the land. No peace. Wow. Yes. yes. And now you say you come in peace. We are here in search of our fathers. We are not here to harm anyone. What? Did you hear him? Yes. Did you hear him? Yes. yes. Oh, you came to unite with your fathers so that the abomination will start all over again. Oh, yes. Yes. Tell you not to step your foot in this village. But what is this you are wearing? Both of you we are thoroughly warned. Both of us? You knew about us all along? They are only our boys, just like other families. We are not like other people. You have been using me, killing my wives and unborn children. You've been using me to get ingredients for your sacrifice! Sorry. Who have you been talking with? That demon? You lied, Papa! It's not a demon! You are! You told me about you. The evil cult and what you have been doing with us! You leave me no choice. I gave you everything a good father will give his son. Killing my wives and unborn children? Huh? Now I ask you, Papa! Why? Why? Why do you give me money and encourage me to be married each time I lose my wife? Why? That's why we have come. You belong to a cult. And you used me. You, you used me as a sacrifice to your court long before I was born. Tell me it's a lie. Tell me. Talk. Answer me. Am I a living sacrifice to your demonic cult? Stop talking. Answer me before I forget that you're my father and shoot you. Answer me. Certainly cross the boundaries this time, Kevin. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, 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 oh. How 
do I break the curse? How do I free my soul? You have to start by destroying the covenant. How do I do that? Come. Come, let's go. You have a great journey. Come. What about my father? I have destroyed him. Soon all members of Abago Court will come for revenge. And before that happens, you have to be strong in spirit. You have to be very ready. Come, let's go. Come. Go. This is where I live. Why did you choose to live in a place like this? No one comes here. The members of Abago Court have been looking for me. This is the last place they will come looking for. you know so much about me and everyone it's a long story I want to hear it it's personal it's between me and my God he alone will church I am now involved you must tell me I need to know who are you They equally want me dead. You have to tell me all I need to know. Please. Many years ago, I was a pastor, a shepherd of God. It was my dream that my church would grow with good fellowship, a mighty cathedral, and branches all over the nation. So... What happened to that dream? My church refused to grow. My congregation was so small that at the time I had six people attending service. I owed my landlord and he threatened to throw me out of the premises. Why didn't your congregation rally round to raise the money and pay the landlord? No. They didn't. Instead, they started leaving to join the neighboring church. My rival. My rival, Pastor Miracoli Bawuji, whom I'm not too sure that he knows God. You may not have the idea how hot I was. And to make matters worse, my rival church approached my landlord to take over the building that was housing my church. It was when my landlord was about to accept that I decided to look for an alternative. Thank you. 
pass the red one, the shaman doesn't matter. You can repent, change to any color you want. It's a good place. 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 Uh, Pastor Miracle. Yes. Meet the former tenant, Mr. Gideon. Oh, I Mr. See. Gideon, the new tenant, Pastor Miracle. <laughs> Mr. Gideon. Chief. Please, I am not Mr. Gideon. I am Pastor Gideon. Oh, Pastor Gideon. <laughs> you see, I have a very good friend, a bosom friend of mine. He named his son Bishop. But funny enough, he's a native doctor. <laughs> native doctor naming his son Bishop. <laughs> Is it not funny? <laughs> See, Chief, I'm not here for such jokes. I want to know what is going on. Oh. What are they doing here? <laughs> um, um, well, Chief, uh, I don't have time for this. Um, you know, I have a tight schedule. I know. So I have to come to my office later today so that we do the necessary. Sign it. Sign it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kitty. Pastor Mirak. Pastor. 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 Okay. Yes. I demand to know what is going on. What do you mean I'm a former tenant? My church is still here. Well, for your information, the young man that just left is called Pastor Mirago Madauchi. He is an anointed man of God, flowing in the spirit of God with large congregation. He has money, what it takes to own this place. He needs it. Because his congregation is expanding. He needs it, not like you. You know, you, I mean, you don't have congregation, you don't have anything, and you want to go to a big place. And it's not possible. <laughs> Mr. Gideon. Chief, you can't do this. You can't take away my place. This is my church. You can't take it away from me. I'm still a tenant here, Chief. No, 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 no. Point of correction. You are not a tenant here. Not when you've defaulted and paying your rent. Remember, I have served you quick notice four times. Four good times. I asked you to leave this place. What else do you want? Okay. Okay, Chief. Please. All I'm asking for is time. Can you give me more time to pay you? I'll pay. The only thing that can give you a little time in life is money. The money you have, cash, ego, they are paying me 10 years rent in advance, plus agency and tenancy agreement. Do you have it, Mr. Gideon? Do you have it? No, 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 no. I don't think so. See, if you will take my advice, look for another business to do. It is obvious. You are a failure in this. You don't have money. You don't have congregation. I mean, you don't have anything. What else do you want? Go and make money, Mr. Gideon. Go and make money. Well, this one that you're even limping. I don't know how you can manage <laughs> your congregation. No problem. Maybe I'll ask uh, Pastor Miracle to give you a little store where you can be selling provision. I think that's a good business for him. Don't you think so? <laughs> Take my advice, eh? Help yourself. <laughs> chief, Chief, listen to me, Chief. Listen to me, Chief. I will never give up. I will not give up my congregation, my future, and my destiny. I will not do that. I am anointed child of God. This is my anointed place. I'm a tenant here. I will not lose it. God will not allow you. God and I will not allow you, Chief. I'm a tenant here. You want your church to be the largest, power to perform miracles, and for your name to be known throughout the world. Yes, that's what I want. You shall have it. But you shall have to give us seven heads. Seven heads of what? Oh, come, come, Gideon. The mere child. Seven heads. Human heads. What do you mean, seven human heads? We shall sacrifice seven heads. 
and they must be women. Are you out of your mind? You will be out of yours if you refuse. You want me to soil my hands in blood? That's, that's against the commandment of God. Gideon, think on it. Crusades. Large crusades from one major city to the other. <laughs> Television appearances. Your own book. Your own cathedral with branches nationwide. To have one of the biggest church. But this new church came and took everything away from me. Why did your congregation desert you for a new church? They were performing all sorts of miracles and magic. I couldn't. So I went in search of powers. Powers to perform my own miracle. Hmm. So, uh, you, you went closer to God? No. I met your father. He promised to help me. My father? Yes. I heard about the great court in Amanze village, where all dreams are made real. That was my greatest mistake. I traveled to the village where I met your father. He took me to the Abogu Kove. That was where my nightmare started. You sacrificed the members of your congregation just for power. That is wicked. Rituals, you got the power. I have no power. Neither could the court give such a power. So, what did you get after all that? The only power they gave me was demonic power for magic, black magic. I can see the demon in you. Ask it to leave. That they always come back with 70 other demons to possess members of my congregation. And all of a sudden, almost all my congregation became insane, mentally mad. They called me a ritualist. And one day, Almost killed. They almost killed me.
man has fallen from his glory. Man is no longer who he used to be. What has become of man? Please, 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 don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Hey, please, please. You have done the unthinkable. You shall watch your death come slowly. Now, open his gate to hell. Performing great evil, doing unimaginable things to please the master, the devil, but time will come for reckoning the day. The wicked will surely fall For the battle, the battle, the battle is The, the days of the wicked are numbered, are numbered Even and though they are large in number, in number The day of reckoning will come And there shall be it no will more it will save me. I've been following and watching you since you started coming to this village. No one has ever challenged or fought members of the Abahu except you. They destroyed my life and soul. Uh, you must be a fool to have gone to fight the military. Rather die than watch them destroy others. I had no choice. You have a choice to life. Don't you know that they are indestructible? No human being is indestructible. They are not human. They are demons in the body of humans. Find the source of their life and you will destroy them. What are you talking about, old man? Uh, they all have a son each. Each member of the cult deceives a girl into marriage. When the girl becomes pregnant, she is destroyed. She is sacrificed and the child in her womb taken. Through the demonic powers of her bag, the child is made to grow into a handsome prince. He marries any girl he sets his eyes on. When the girl becomes pregnant, 
the abog demon takes the child from the girl's womb spiritually and she dies. This way, they keep replenishing themselves. And their sons accept this? Their sons don't know what is going on. They are giving money to remarry each time they lose their wives. This keeps going on over and over until the boy gets tired and dies. He dies and another boy is raised through another woman the father will deceive into marriage. Why are you telling me all this? All my life, I've been searching for the sons of the members of our power to destroy them and do away with the cult. They killed my wife and children. They destroyed our land and brought a curse on it. But now I'm an old and too tired to continue. So Gideon, you must continue where I stop. supposed to be two of them. I can only see one. Yes. One died in the land of Amanze. A soul rest in peace. For many years, I've waited for this moment. Gideon and I looked for you and these people here. Are they the sons of the other members of our Bible cult? My son, like you, they were sacrificed to the demon their fathers worshipped before they were born. What? Um, we have no time now. They are aware that Agumba is dead. So, soon they will come for us. We have to go to them first. That is our only chance. I've sent a message to the seven priests. For Mary to converge. So they will meet up with us. So let's go. It will come and they 
Izudo anado, izudo, izudo anado, izudo anado, izudo anado, izudo, izudo, izudo anado. says that the members of the court know that we are here. I see. In that case, we have to hurry up. Um, yeah, we will part uh, ways here. Uh, 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 but I want to go with old you. Man, you. No, no, old man, you've done enough for us. May God bless you. God bless you too. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's go.
The pastor that refused to die. Have you found your miracle or are you still searching? I am the miracle. I search no more. You should have stayed away after you survived. You are a fool to have come back. What must be, must be. I came back but not alone. I came back with your own people. Your flesh of flesh. Your blood of blood. They know the truth. I told them. They are now my people. In that case. You shall all die. You shall all die here. under the throne. So, we must go fast. We must dig it fast. I want to see the gold. Bring the gold to me. I will take this way. You can go. May God protect you. I see you. The day you 
have a date with death. I come. from the dead and chose to die again. The evil you created has a beginning. And like everything that has a beginning, it has an end. <laughs> I am the beginning and the end. I decide what begins and what ends. The only thing you can decide is the calamity that will befall you and your lives. It is all over them. Today is the end. You survived once and chose to die again. You are a fool to have it end. I waited for this day to redeem my image and renounce you and the demons you worship. I'm a free man, Odum. <laughs> the only freedom we have today is to decide how to die. You will surely die. Then you will die with me. Hey, hey, hey.
dangerous gods that had destroyed this land, my life and others who have died in the past. You're the hero. Please, sir, don't give up. I'll get you to the hospital and you'll be fine again. No, okay? no. Just... It's too late. Stay strong. It's, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. I've waited for this day. And I'm glad that God has granted me this day. God. I pray with my heart and soul that He forgives me. I failed Him. I failed Him. He has forgiven you. I failed him. He's a merciful God. And, and, he, and he has forgiven you. You will leave and have the opportunity to serve him again. Please, just, just let me get you to the hospital. Gideon. Gideon. Please. No, it's late. It's not. It's not late. It's late. Spirit, I like your spirit, but I wish I'm too so strong. But I'm glad that you all can get married now and raise your family. It's late for me, but remember, remember, remember that when the spirit of God liveth in you. No time might pass with changes. He that liveth in you shall overcome your problems. Remember, remember that. Yes, I will. Remember it. I will. I will. Remember. I will. I will. And you will leave. Gideon, Kelvin, don't give up. Kelvin, be strong. Kelvin, don't do this. Kelvin, Gideon. Kelvin, Gideon. 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 Udo, <laughs> <laughs> 
them wrong walk. I don't know about Anuda Kaina John Walk. Who don't remember my Udo? Anuda Kama, who don't remember my Udo? Who don't Kaina John? Who don't remember my Udo? Never have a move on your car. Who don't remember my Udo? You got to plan a fumuana. Who don't remember my Udo? Ah, you can't get a cuckoo one more. Who don't remember my Udo? Udo, Udo. Yeah.